in this segment, we're going to continue looking at using the graphics mode for digitizer software. And specifically this time, we're going to take a look at the drawing tools. And that's this tool here. And there's actually four options. If I just fly it open, you'll see that we have these options. We have freehand draw, we've got the artistic media option, we've got the pen option, and we've got smart drawing. And each of them have really distinct differences of how they work. And so I'm just going to go ahead and choose freehand draw. And perhaps this is the easiest, um, I don't know which one's easiest, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how they work. Maybe I'll, I'll zoom out just a tiny bit. So basically here I have my tool for drawing. And so, I don't know, maybe I'll, why don't I zoom out and then zoom back in over top of my paper so that I can try and draw on my screen a little bit. Now, I'm going to left click and I start drawing. And basically I'm just drawing like I had a pencil in my hand. Now when I let go, it's created the shape as a vector line. Now this is an open line, so it can't be filled in with thread. It's never going to have a fill because it's open. If I wanted to have it be a closed line, I could add to that line until I finish and complete the shape. And now it's a closed shape. So you can see here that when you draw a shape, if you just draw a single line, and leave it open it's just the outline only but you could come in and basically you have to click right over top of the node the last node and complete drawing the shape and when you finish it by clicking or not clicking but drawing from end to end like that then you can fill it now I actually didn't close that see that I left it open sort of not intentionally but there now it's closed oh actually you see I didn't even get it I'm gonna undo and I just really need to draw from this node to that node. Now it's closed. And you can tell it's closed because it fills it in with the with the fill color that I've got set here. And so once I'm done drawing that shape, yep, I could convert it to embroidery just by clicking on convert to embroidery mode. Now let's go back over to graphics. So that's the tool. It's called oh sorry, that's the tool. It's called freehand draw. And I could see where that could be really powerful um, for people that are great with pencil and paper because you can basically draw the vectors and then convert them to embroidery. Now, let's imagine um, using the next tool, Artistic Media. And this one, just as an example, when I turn it on, notice at the top the whole tool options change. So when I go to Artistic Media, I've got different options. Um, we've got a brush stroke, we've got a sprayer, we've got a calligraphy pen, we've got a pressure pen, and we've got this, the preset, and, and basically the preset gives these strokes. So for example, if I draw right now a line like this, it puts a, one of these preset strokes over top of my line, and I have uh, like a different style menu that I could choose from for my preset strokes that I draw. So in this case, you draw a line and the software converts it into one of these preset strokes. Um, if I chose a different tool option, so maybe the paintbrush tool with this, and then I draw my line, I get like a paintbrush. And see, now I have to choose from different options. So you can see here there's all sorts of different options that I could use with this. So this tool is a very interactive drawing tool that's going to give you the ability to draw and it gives you all sorts of different options for how that's going to look. So why don't I try another one? This one's the sprayer and I guess the options are, these are subsets, so like we've got food or footprints. Why don't I try and make some footprints? And so then when I draw, it puts little foot pins along that line. And so there's all sorts of interesting capabilities within this artistic media option. Let's take a look at the next option, which is called the pen. And this is perhaps the most traditional of the vector drawing tools. And so I'm just going to, oh, I didn't mean to start I'm gonna I was just trying to zoom in on a different area so when I use the pen I click to start a line 
and I click and drag to make a new pen point. Now, when I click, if I just click, I get all corner points. See that? If I click and drag, I get vector lines. The the handles that give me that create the curve. So if I just click, I'm going to cut a corner like that. If I click and drag, I can curve it. And then when I if if I if I hit enter now, it will not close the shape, leaves it as an open shape. If I click back on that last node and draw over to the first node, now I've I've made a closed shape. So it's the difference between an open shape and a closed shape is an open shape simply cannot be filled in with color versus a closed shape can. Doesn't have to be. So just as an example, even though I've closed the shape, I could come to the fill pen or fill option and choose none and take the fill out of this object. But I can always add the fill back on. I just come to my interactive fill tool and I could choose to have a color fill. Um, this will take me straight to the color docker window, which I could then use to choose a color for my fill. So also on the um, drawing tools, this is the pen option. And another option is smart drawing. And this one's really interesting. So for example, if I just try and draw, um, by the way, you'll notice hints come up here. So these are hints on how to use the tools. And this one says basically, draw a rectangle and see what happens. So I'm going to draw myself a little rectangle, not the best rectangle drawer in the world. But you know what, when I let go, boom, it completely fixes it. So isn't that interesting? If you want to draw a triangle, one, two, three, and it makes a nice, beautiful triangle for me. Try, I'll try and draw a circle. Not a great circle drawer. Well, I didn't know that was a circle. Let's try again. <laughs> Still not there. Um, I'll try again. I should be able to get it to do a circle. Basically, it's called smart drawing, and the tool, um, the tool basically tries to interpret what you draw. Yeah, I'm just not quite good at getting the circle. Oh, I have a terrible mouse to do this with. When I try, I have two mouses here. When I try this one, <laughs> that's not it. Oh, see, at least I got the ellipse. There's a perfect circle. Yeah, this mouse is a little bit easier to use for drawing. So anyway, that's called smart drawing. And it basically interprets, it works very much like the freehand draw, except for if it recognizes the shape, it will perfect it for you and completes it. And then just like any other time, you want to convert something into embroidery, you select it, and then you just hit the convert selected objects to embroidery. So those are some of the different options that we have available for drawing your own, sorry here, drawing your own vectors. Four different tool options that you can use to freehand draw, artistic media, the pen, or the smart drawing. And you can draw your own vectorized shapes.